Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Minecraft Monday. In today's video we're going to look at one of the biggest mods ever, the Macau's Doors mod, which adds a lot of doors as you can see right here, but they are all very cool and they all fit the vanilla style, so yeah, let's get straight into it. But before we get into this video, I quickly want to say to you guys that the giveaway is still live. One month of free Xbox Game Pass, whether you want PC or console, you can just tell me and I will give it to you if you win, of course. So don't forget to enter that giveaway. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So what we are going to begin with is going to be these door prints, which will, well, it will give you the ability to actually make um, doors like the oak oak door design but in other wood variants which is really cool in my opinion as you can see we can make um classic doors but from other wood types so it's really cool and this goes for all the vanilla door types as you can see right here and they are made with just a single door in the middle of the door print you want with four paper around it okay but those are all the door prints that's actually the boring part let's get over well, go over all the doors right here. As you can see, we are going to start off with the Shoji door. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If you want to craft this one, you will actually need two of the wood uh, type planks that you want to have and put paper on top of it, four paper, and you get three of these Shoji doors, which actually slide open, which is really cool. They go, well, like inside of the block, which is really cool in my opinion. Um, I also quickly want to say, um, I used spruce wood for all of these um, examples, but you can have them in all different wood types. So birch, spruce, oak, everything that you can imagine. All the vanilla wood variants, there will be versions of the door off. So you will actually have like a lot of door variants that you can use. But moving on from the shogi door, shoji door, we have the shoji hole door, which will be made with slabs on, well, on the bottom and four paper on top. And they will actually also slide open, but they will have like, instead of um, three on the top, they will have two on the top, which is, hmm. I like this one better in my opinion. This one with like the little brown on the top, on the bottom, looks better in my opinion. But yeah, you guys can sh choose. That's just a, li a little bit more customization for you guys, which this mod is just for. Moving on, we have the barn door, which is completely new. As you can see, they will... It will be made from four uh, planks and two sticks and you will get two barn doors which actually look pretty good in my opinion they well they look like barn doors <laughs> moving on we have the barn glass door so this is literally just the barn door but with glass panes on top and you can look through it as you can see we can see those cows right there they are just existing they're loving life <laughs> then we have the modern door which in my opinion looks kind of stupid. You have four um, planks and two glass panes. And you, as you can see, you can look through them again and we can see the cows again. They don't really look that good in my opinion. They just, well, hmm, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about them. These ones are my least favorite. Then we have the spruce door, but as you can see, this is the spruce variant. I just wanted to keep the whole vibe spruce. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you um, how you can make a spruce door out of something else as you can see jungle cottage door You will need a spruce door print and two well planks types of your choo of your choosing on top and on the bottom And you will just have this one, but in the variant you chose Then we have the classic door which will be made from with a, an oak door print and wood on top These are actually just the vanilla doors, but recolored as you, can, you will need um, an acacia um, door print for this one, a birch um, door print for this one, a dark oak um, oh, door print for this one, an acacia door print for this one. This was jungle. I'm sorry, I confused those. Well, I mixed those two together. Then we have the spruce glass door. You will need three, well, four glass panes and two um, planks, and you will have this full see through door. As you can see, we can see the cows again, and they just open like normal doors. Then we have the stable door which will actually use iron bars so four planks and two iron bars will give you three of these doors and they will actually slide open which i'm a really big fan of those sliding doors i don't know why but i really like them then we have the stable horse door which will be made from 
a, well you just need a spruce stable door and you can turn it into a stable horse door um they don't really well they aren't really that much different but they have like this v shape which will actually i think a horse is able to stick his head through this and you can i don't know look at it if you like looking at horses <laughs> huh, yeah that's a spruce stable door then we have the western door which is actually i don't know why but i really like this door and it's made from one spruce slab and one two three four five six um well planks which yeah i just love the design look how good it looks if you have like a western team in your like world this would be perfect and you can look over them you can look underneath them but not that much if i were to break this i could actually look under it that's actually if you have like a western themed like world and you have like some gun mods or something you can actually shoot through these parts which is really cool then we have the mystic door which is literally just the mystic door print again then we have the nether door which is literally just the crimson wood um well the crimson door print and two planks on top and on the bottom then we have the new uh, mangrove um doors which you can also turn into any wood type that you want then we have another new door this is going to be the bamboo door these are like well from 1.20 they aren't really implemented into vanilla minecraft yet but the mod creator already added them as you can see just a bamboo door print and spruce planks on the top and on the bottom um then we have the spruce bark glass door this is actually this uses not the planks but it uses the, the wood so as you can see we just need any sort of lock and four well whoa four glass blocks that's a new not paints but blocks i don't know why these may be a little bit more reinforced or something but as you can see we can look through them as well look at the cows then moving on we have a couple of new iron doors which look really cool and i'm actually going to get some buttons and as you can see they need a redstone signal to open this is going to be the metal door made from one iron nugget and five um, iron ingots you get two of the uh, metal doors and they need a redstone signal so just a fancier iron door to well to be honest then we have the metal warning door which actually uses um, a metal windowed door and two iron nuggets and it also needs a redstone signal but these ones you can actually look through this is really cool for some sort of like factory build or something as you can see this could be like a room which has some dangerous stuff inside like zombies Ooh, that's actually really cool this could be like um the zombie specimen chamber i've way too big of a fantasy then we have the metal hospital door and these won't open as well you need the a redstone signal to open them and you will make them with a glass pane three iron ingots and two iron nuggets but they do actually look really cool in my opinion then we have the metal reinforced door i can only imagine that you use netherite oh you don't need netherite you just need eight of the iron nuggets and one metal door in the middle and you get a reinforced door i don't know if these ones are actually harder for like enemies to get through but i think i well that would be kind of logical in my opinion but maybe not then we have the metal window door this is actually just a metal door with one glass pane on top and you get the window door then we have the jail door which is i really like this one and they actually slide to the side and you can look through them you can have like your prisoners behind here or like zombies anything that you want to lock up and it looks really good well now we have two well a little bit well they are kind of random we have the sliding glass door and we have the store door these actually use iron as you can see one two three iron ingots and three glass panes it gives you two sliding glass doors these are really cool for like in some sort of like um store if i well like a gas station store the they they usually have these sorts of doors and they look really good then we have the store door these were like meant for the stores like the gas stations and they are made from four iron ingots and two glass panes so if you are running low on glass i would recommend these ones instead of those ones but i kind of like those more but now we have the big garage doors and like the fences well the more medieval type doors as you can see these ones actually go all the way up and they have like 
a little bit of like stuff that comes out of the back and i really like this this is like i can with almost 100 percent confidence say that everyone has tried to build one of these like really big doors for like a castle or something and it's just really sad that you can't go through them but with this you can actually go through them and they aren't really that hard to make you just need fences and iron and you'll be able to make this which is really cool then now we have the iron portcullis this is the wooden portcullis i don't know if i'm pr pronouncing that correctly probably not but they work the same just right click them and you can open and close them and they can be as big as you want i forgot to tell you but they can be as big as you want as you can see and they are so cool you can walk through them when they're in this state but if they're in this state you can't walk through them but you can jump over them and the crafting recipe for the iron portcullis is three iron bars and three iron ingots as you could imagine then we have four garage doors and then we are done with this mod review this is the white garage door as you can see made from one glass block and surrounded for well um one two three four five five iron ingots and a glass block in the middle these ones can be as big as you want as well it doesn't really matter they can even be in at different heights which is really cool then we have oh the crafting recipe i can't forget that <laughs> this is oh i already told you guys that wow um then we have the silver garage door just white garage doors well with one light gray die in the middle then we have oh then we have the gray garage door as you can probably imagine gray die in the middle and then we have the black garage door just white garage doors surrounded um well surrounding one black die well guys that's going to be it for today's video i really hope you did enjoy it if you did be sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos like these from me but yeah i thank you all so much for watching don't forget about my giveaway don't forget about my discord server and yeah that's going to be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching bye bye